Good afternoon, traders. It is Monday, June 17th, 2019, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Well, we had kind of a, another funky day today. Uh, still, there were some interesting things that happened. It wasn't quite as boring as usual. We had negative positions of over $3,000 over the weekend and I was just not too sure what was going to happen there. Uh, this morning, ever so briefly, uh, shortly after it opened, I thought that maybe that was going to go positive. It did not. It went the other way. And we ended up uh, closing those uh, 10 positions, I believe. We closed those uh, negative five thousand dollars which is not good obviously but it's not a disaster either um, we got into 16 new positions with eight positive and eight negative and we're holding positive a thousand dollars on 16 positions going into tomorrow that does make me a little nervous that's not very much profit but I'm going to tell you that actually I by the end of the day I'm fairly pleased with it because I just watched this thing at, you know for the first two three hours I think uh, 16 positions is a lot and I would see us getting into new positions and they all going uh, negative immediately and uh, I frequently saw all negative except maybe one. And at one point, this mess was down uh, over $9,000 negative. So I was just looking at this as a, this was going to be a disaster, disastrous day. And it did come back, and we actually closed with some small uh, positive numbers. So um, I hope that bodes well for tomorrow. We'll just have to see. You can see here with the Dow that we're going sideways now for about six days. Uh, I don't subscribe to technical analysis very much, but there, there are some technical analysts that might look at this congestion, pe congested period, uh, particularly the last four days, and they would say that when this breaks out, the breakout, one way or another, is going to be the length of the congested period. So if that happened tomorrow, and believe me, I'm not saying this is, going to happen tomorrow we would if it broke topside we would I believe be at all-time record highs and if, but if it broke downside we would be back to where we were at the beginning of this month <coughs> excuse me so we'll just have to see I have no idea what's going to happen but I honestly I'm not getting a feeling like it's going to really break any direction tomorrow, but you can't predict the stock market. It is highly unpredictable. Let me show you, I'm going to show you three halfway decent trades that we had today, mainly because I don't think any of these stocks I've showed you before. This first one is XXII which uh, is 22nd Cent Century Group Incorporated. I think I'm reading that right. Yeah. Uh, 22nd Century Group Incorporated. This is a, a very small stock, technically a penny stock, and we bought 30,000 shares today about uh, in the third hour on this big pop-up here 
and uh, not much happened and then it uh, rallied right at the very end closing on its high so that looks pretty good there but um, who knows what's going to happen with that one but anyway we have uh, $1,400 uh, open trade positive equity in uh, 22nd Century Group Incorporated and then this next one this is Flexion Therapeutics FLXN and we bought this thing with looks like about three hours to go pretty late in the day and uh, it kept going and closed very near its high there and we're holding fifteen hundred dollars in Flexion Therapeutics and then finally our largest trade which isn't huge but it's still still good it looks like a good trade um, this is uh, A-G-E-N, which is um, oh, a genesis, a genus, yeah, a genus incorporated. And uh, we bought this as soon as we could this morning. It just kept going very nicely there. We'll pull back at the end, but not too much. And we're holding... Uh, $2,100 positive open trade in AGEN. So all three of those trades look pretty good, but we have 16 positions, and I just hope this uh, overall market does not go south tomorrow. Anyway, that's the way it went to the Trader Bob signing off. I will be back here tomorrow on Tuesday.